Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Jude. I wanted to do a follow-up on a story which first hit the press at the beginning of 2023. And this is in regards to the FBI putting out a internal memo saying that they wanted to look further and have a surveillance on those parishioners that attended the traditional Latin mass. So this goes back to a leaked memo dated January the 23rd of this year in 2023. It originated in the FBI's Richmond, Virginia office that claimed that radically and ethically motivated violent extremists, can you believe that, will likely become more interested in radical traditionalist Catholic ideology within the next 12 to 24 months in the run up to the next general election cycle. I'm reading from an article that was published in Catholic News Agency. So I'll link it below so that you could read that. The document release comes after Ohio Republican Representative Jim Jordan, the chairman of the committee, threatened to hold FBI Director Christopher Wray in contempt over the Bureau's delay in responding to two subpoenas investigating alleged First Amendment violations from the Bureau. Those alleged violations relate to both the FBI's investigation of parents who voiced dissent at public school board meetings and the Richmond office's internal memo targeting radical traditionalist Catholics and their possible ties to the far right white nationalist movement. So when that memo was leaked, targeting Catholics, that was in February, the U.S. bishops and many members of the Catholic community were outraged. And in February, 20 state attorneys signed a letter to U.S. Attorney General condemning the FBI memo. So they had said at that time they were reviewing this, the documents, and here we are sitting in August, almost the end of August, when this memo was finally available. The information that had been withheld was finally available for us to review. A version of this original memo, uh, along with some new documents, has just been released. There was a July 17th press release from the House Judiciary Committee stating that the documents that the FBI shared have been either heavily redacted to exclude critical information or the FBI has not produced the appropriate requested documents. So what's going on here? So there's a stalling tactic going on here. Why, why is this happening? I mean, we know that Catholics have been targeted for years and years and years. And so this, I don't know if you are aware of this, but um, I actually have the original memo pulled up, the unclassified memo that came out, the FBI's Richmond Division, saying they would like to protect Virginians from the threat of white supremacy, which it believes has found a home within Catholics who prefer the Latin Mass. Are you a Latin Mass goer out there? I attend the Latin Mass. I'm not a white supremacist. I go for the reverence. I go for being in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ with other parishioners who are very devout. I totally resent this remark. And um, I just wanted to make sure that you were aware of what's been going on. And it sounds like the FBI is, is trying to as it has been for so many months, drag its feet, hide the initial information that was published. 
I've been following this story for, for months now, and I wanted to do a video on it because I think some people maybe aren't aware, some Catholics aren't aware that this is going on. And of course the FBI has no claims that are substantiated. I don't know. There's nothing listed showing how do they derive this unbelievable notion that um, traditional Catholics are terrorists. We want to, you know, we want, if you have such unbelievable claims, you need to back them up with evidence. And we want to see that evidence as Catholics. And we want to know if we have been targeted, I heard that there were even some approaches to parishioners within those traditional Catholic parishes that were approached to almost spy on, on parishioners and keep an eye on them. So we, we, we have so much more yet to uncover about this and unpack about this. So I wanted to put it on your radar. So let me know your feelings about this. We know we are being tested. As Christians, as people of faith, we are constantly in this world, more than ever, being tested. And we want to stay strong. We want to, um, to really be knowledgeable and be aware of the threats that our faith has upon us and the more that we're informed and we stay ahead of it that we can speak out against injustices just as we did this past summer with the sisters of professional indulgence so let me know your thoughts and until next time peace and love